Here we have a goblin art challenge. The skin color is your favorite color's complementary color, which means that it'll be the opposite of whatever color you like. So for example, mine is purple, and if you click the Uno reverse card on your favorite color, it'll change. So for example, purple changes into green. So um, if you have, uh, for the fangs, if you have cavities, fangs go on the bottom jaw, and if you don't, fangs will go come from canines, where humans would have canines. And as for the ears, uh, if you have detached earlobes, they would be facing down, and if they, if you have attached earlobes, they face up. For the nose, if you have a little bump on the bridge of your nose, you don't give your goblin a bump. But if you have a bump on the bridge, if you don't have a bump on your own nose, then you give your goblin a bump on their bridge. For the gender, the gender is going to be the same as your gender. So if you're non-binary, if you're a boy, if you're a girl, if you're gender fluid, your goblin is going to be any of those things. <laughs> um, as for earrings, if you're part of the LGBTQ plus community, add two or more earrings to each ear on your goblin. I didn't follow every single prompt because I forgot most, not most of them, I followed most of them, I forgot some of them. For example, there was something about specifically if you were a specific type of LGBTQ gendered, then you would add like a nose ring or I think it was a lip ring or something. I can't remember. <laughs> but um, yeah, and it also said something about wearing a collar if you were introverted and I'm definitely a little bit of both, so I would have a collar with spikes on it if I had remembered, but I don't. So here it is. Now, um, usually when I create a character like this in this profile sort of form, I usually, well, anytime I make a character in any way, I usually make the face longer and more boxy. So this time, since I thought, oh, it's a goblin, it should probably have a rounder, more natural looking face. So that's what I did. I tried, <laughs> I tried my best to make it, um make it different than what I usually do because if you don't go out of your comfort zone every once in a while you're not going to know how to improve your art and th that's what I did here. Um, as you can see I'm not using the fill tool and it's not because I'm against using um, the tools that we have nowadays with the new blast of technology. It's because of the way that I like to do my line art. As you can see, my line art is very sketchy, especially, uh, excuse me, it, it's very sketchy, especially since, um, I don't usually like to go back over it with a flatter, more fine look. I really enjoy the sketch look, I don't know why, it's just, <laughs> I don't know, <laughs> I like it a lot, so this is, so it's very hard to use the fill tool with this, and I don't really mind doing the filling in myself. I think it's more therapeutic, I suppose. I don't really know. But, um, I really like the way that this one turned out. Uh, there were a few things that I wish that I had remembered to do so that I could actually complete the challenge, but I think, I think this counts because I did most of it. <laughs> um, as for the earrings, instead of just putting the loop earrings that they recommended in the original uh, video, I put little stars hanging down from them. Well, actually, I put a star, a moon, and a sun, just because, just to symbolize my love for the tarot deck. <laughs> um, and for the dress, well, it's supposed you can't really tell it's a dress, but it is a an apron that is plaid over top of a, I don't think it's an apron, but anyways, it's an overall dress, I think. I don't know what it's called, but <laughs> it's a dress nonetheless, and um, I saw some girl wearing it, and I thought it was super cute, so I wanted to put it on this character. Maybe um, if you guys can give her name, I can do a full body picture with her name on the side, whichever one I pick in the comments, that would be great. And we can make a fun little game out of it. Until next time, I'll see you later.